welcome back everyone so in today's video i will be showing you how to install aws cli on mac os environment okay so let's get to it okay so like i mentioned in today's video we will be going through the process of installing aws cli on mac os environment all right so quickly what is aws cli so aws cli is an open source tool that lets you interact with aws services from the command line okay so once you install aws cli then you can run commands from your terminal to interact with aws services so for example let's say if you wanted to list or uh, create uh, s3 packets from your terminal or command line then you can basically do that once you install aws cli so this tool is pretty powerful and it will let you to pretty much do the same thing that you will have done if you are going to interact with uh, aws services through the console okay so in this video i will be showing you how to install the tool and we will quickly uh, go through some uh, high level demo on how to use this tool so let's jump into it okay so the first thing that you need to do in order to install the AWS CLI is to make sure that you have a user because we will need some credentials from AWS environment uh, in order to, to install and configure the, the tool. Okay, so again, I will be showing you how to install the tool and actually connect to our AWS environment. So that's the reason why um, we want to create a user. But essentially, you can just install the tool but, uh, without... Uh, having to create a user but in, if you want to be able to connect to the environment then uh, you do need the credentials so for that just log into your um, aws account once you are logged in this is your default console home and it's going to be showing you the uh, recently visited services so in my case i have used these services uh, in the last few days so you can see them right here and i do have iam uh, which is one of the services that we'll be using in order to create our user so for your case if you don't see iam here just go to search here and type iam which uh, will show up right here and all we have to do is just go open that service and right here you will see the uh, dashboard for iam and what we want to do is we want to create a user so actually if you want to use the existing user you can do that and i think in my case i'm actually going to to use the existing user which in this case is this dev user so i've created this user previously and um i have attached some roles and permissions and policies and i have also created the uh, credentials that we'll be using in this video so i'm not going to create another user but i will just quickly show you how to create a user so to do that uh, just go to users here and uh, create a user and put the user let's say demo user in this case uh we can make it lowercase demo user okay and then you can decide if you want to have this user access console or not i will not do that then we'll just go next and then here you can decide if you want to just to add this user to a group or attach policies directly so let's probably do this and then you can say let's say if you want to uh, let this user access s3 then you can do that okay um, so you can decide which permissions you want to have this user uh, get in AWS. And then uh, just um, check all the permissions here. Uh, and then just click next. And right here, you can go ahead and create the user. Okay, so the user now will have been created. And then all you have to do is just go uh, click into that user. You will see under the permissions tab, the policies that you... Um, Kept this user and then you will see if there are any groups associated any tags now what you need to do is uh, you want to go over to credentials right here and um, you want to go down to access keys and just go ahead and create access keys okay so this will be the keys that we'll be using when we uh, connect to our AWS environment uh, once we install the CLI okay so uh, you can decide to give this user command line uh, so I think any of this you can actually check but I'm just going because we'll be doing CLI work then um, I will check this command line interface we'll go ahead and uh, check here uh, the confirmation and then just go ahead and uh, create this key okay so you can give the descriptions if you want and then from here you can now go ahead and uh, just save this so just go ahead and download this file and uh, make sure that you save it for your future work because once you hit done you will not be seeing this anymore okay so this will disappear and you will not see it again so it's good to save this somewhere so that if you want to use them later then you have access to this information so just go ahead and uh, hit done there and like i mentioned uh, you will not see this anymore so if you go back to access keys uh, you will see now that you have the uh, access key here uh, but the secret you will not be able to 
to see it uh but you know in in case you lose this then you can just come back and um generate this again so you can come and recreate it so if you create a, uh, another set of keys then the 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 previous ones will be de deactivated okay so that's how you create a user uh save those uh save that information somewhere we'll be using it uh when we do our connection to aws uh through command line okay so once you've done that now the next thing that we need to do is to download and install the cli okay so to do that uh you can just go to your browser and uh search for aws cli download okay and then uh i will put this link in the description uh, you'll see this installing or updating uh to the latest version of of the aws cli just click this and uh, you will see the documentation website here uh if you go to the aws cli install and update instructions you will see these are the operating systems i have previously done um the steps for windows i'll put the link for that in the description uh, it should be pretty similar if you if you're on windows just go ahead and uh, follow this you can use the uh, installer or you can basically copy these commands to your command line okay uh so for mac os which is what we'll be doing in this video the, then uh, these are the uh, steps so you can see that we have a number of steps here that you can use to install cli so you have kui and actually we'll be going with kui in this case so we'll download the pkg file but if you just want to run it directly on your terminal then you can go to this tab here copy this put it on your terminal and run it uh it should you know work the same okay all right so then uh, i'm just going to go back to the kui installer here and i'm going to uh open that so i'm just going to click that and you can see here we have the uh, cli pkg file and i'm just going to open it directly from here to start the installation and uh, you can see this page here so let me see if i can make this one bigger uh it doesn't seem like i have that option but i am going to close some of this okay so we have this guy right here so now We'll just go through the steps i'll click continue here and then um read me and go ahead and do that and we will go ahead and click continue and we are created the license agreement and then you can see this one how do you want to install this install for all users uh yes this is my computer so i'll just go ahead and do that and then uh, you can see this one is going to install aws cli version 2 to your local folder so that's fine we'll go ahead and continue and then we'll start the installation process you can see here it's asking you to put your password so this is the password for your computer that you use to log in so i'm just going to do that and then now uh, once you enter the password then the installation process is going to begin okay so you can see this one is running and uh this should not take long and uh you can just monitor it here once it's done i think we should be good to use this tool okay our installation is now successful so just go ahead and hit close right here and move this one to trash all right so then the next thing that we'll need to do is just go over then to terminal so i'm going to open terminal right here and um i'm just going to zoom this one in okay and then we'll clear this all right and uh so to check now if aws cli is installed then you can just type aws uh, and i think fashion should be able to tell us if we have aws cli now installed so if you type aws fashion um we'll see if this is going to output anything okay there we go so you can see the fashion of cli we have here is now 2.45.5 sorry 2.24.5 okay so it also comes with python 3.12 in this case um so that is the cli now fashion uh installed successfully so you have the aws cli installed and if you do which aws then it will show you which location it's uh um installed okay so you can see this one is uh located inside users local under pin directory you have aws cli installed so okay so up to this point we can uh determine that we have successfully installed aws cli now in order to connect to your aws because that will be the next thing that you need to do okay so uh, obviously you want to be able to uh, run commands from your terminal 
to do things in your AWS environment. So for you to do that, then you do need to connect your CLI to your AWS account. Okay, so let's do that. So to do that, all you have to do is just do AWS. Let me just again make sure that this one is zoomed in. Okay, so to do, just go ahead and do AWS configure. Okay, so that is the command to configure your AWS uh, environment. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do then is to put the uh, AWS access key ID. Okay, so this is the access key ID that you uh, downloaded. Okay, so we did we went through this process when we created our user. Those were the credentials that we generated. Okay, so you want to put the uh, key ID here, the access key ID here, as well as the secret. Uh, ID key. So I've gone ahead and grabbed my uh, access key ID and I have it right here as well as the secret access key. Okay. And I have put it right here. Okay. So just enter that information and then here the default region for me, you can end. I think I am in US East one. Okay. And then for the default output format, I believe you can do JSON for that. Okay. Okay. So that's all you need. So just enter your uh, key access ID and then the secret access key and the rest of the default location. So if you have a specific default location that you use, then you can enter them right here. Okay. If you don't, then you can just leave them as none. Okay. And now what we want to do next is to now see if we have our location created for aws okay so if you do ls and list the hidden files now you can see that we have aws here and you can check the you can actually cd there that's a folder so if you do cd aws uh, again it's inside your users directory okay so it's inside your users directory so just uh print you can see that now that's a that is a directory and if you list it then you'll see your configuration which is a file you do config you'll see that now we have our uh, configurations here so the default configuration here we have specified the region as us east one and the output is json so if you want to upgrade the region then you can just come here and edit this okay uh, also we do have credentials here so you can see the credentials here and these credentials actually contains the key and the secret keys that you uh, specified when we were doing the configuration which is the same information that we generated when we created our user okay i'm showing you this because this is also useful say if you wanted to use python to interact with aws using a library like Poto 3 to play or uh, work with the files in s3 then if you have this um configuration created here then when you work with your python code then you don't have to create the access key um or credentials again okay? because you already have your set then you can just run your code and when you run your code it's going to know that it's here okay so i i think i'll do a video in future on how to do that so just um just showing you that actually you can do something like this okay so once you have this then you can actually go ahead and interact with aws services okay so to do that then let's probably uh, list our s3 file so let's go ahead and do aws s3 s3 ls like this okay so this is going to list our files in s3 uh sorry our packets so we can see that we have only one packet in our aws environment and uh, i think that's the case if i go back to my aws console and go to s3 you will see that i have uh, only one packet okay so i only have one packet and if we go ahead and list the packets that we have there uh, so we can list um and then we can i think it's s3 if we go inside this packet uh copy and paste right here okay so you can see now we have um incoming data and outgoing data and you can just keep going uh just keep checking you know what we have inside here as well all right so you can see um so you'll see that we have orders sales students and also a file like those so, so if you can just go inside there you'll see the same it's the same information right here okay so you can see that now we can actually um interact with our aws services from the terminal using aws cli okay uh the other thing that you can actually do here also is uh let's say if we can create a packet so if you do aws uh s3 i think the command is make packet or mp and we do we can just say demo packet 
all right there we go okay so you can see now that we have created this so you can see you can actually create buckets from your terminal just make sure that uh it's globally unique and it's conforming with the naming conventions for aws so in this case this one failed because of the underscores and then the second one failed because it's not unique and then i just you know added my name here to be unique and then now if you go back and list the packets now that we have you, we should be able to see another packet here created we just this one right here and if you go back to your packets uh in aws we refresh this we should have to have another packet now so you can see we have that packet now available here okay guys so that's how you install aws cli and configure it to connect to your aws account so from now on you can just run commands from your terminal to interact with your aws services without connecting to the account through the console all right guys so that's all i wanted to show in this video if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you have not to stay updated for videos like this in future all right guys i will see you in the next video Bye bye